My name is Robin Erbach. I'm cbcnews.ca's opinion editor and columnist. I want to talk to you about why it's time to bring back the basics when it comes to teaching math. The discovery-based math curriculum has been a failure. That's according to provincial and international test scores over the past decade. Yet how many years of declining test scores will be enough for educators across Canada to finally admit that? Five, 10? Whatever your response, don't forget to show your work. Last month, we learned that only half of grade six students in Ontario met provincial math standards this year. That's consistent with the year before when 54% of students made the grade and further down from three years before that when 58% of students met or passed provincial requirements. Ontario is not alone. Other provinces, including Alberta and Manitoba, that have adopted this type of inquiry-based math learning, which favors theory and lofty concepts over multiplication tables and rote learning, have seen significant declines in math scores. Quebec, to its credit, has largely resisted the urge to screw up its math curriculum, and its students, not coincidentally, boast some of the highest math scores in Canada. When confronted with this data, education ministers are unmoved by the suggestion that their tinkering with the curriculum caused math scores to plummet. No, it's the children. Something must be wrong with the children. Most veteran teachers, however, will tell you that the one thing that hasn't changed about teaching over decades is the kids. Classroom rules, parenting styles, school board policies all change, but children are still children. They are not inherently more or less capable of understanding mathematical concepts than the kids that came before them. So if the kids haven't changed, what has changed? It's the math. Fix the math. Manitoba has brought back some of the old techniques of learning math, and Alberta is on its way to doing the same too. But Ontario, for now, is simply doubling down. It's promising more classroom time for math and more specialized math teachers in schools. That's good. But if kids are still counting out three times five on their fingers or by drawing out little butterflies, it's not good enough. Without a firm grasp of the basics, advanced mathematics becomes impossible. And at this rate, schools are creating a generation of kids who struggle with the basics and probably wouldn't attempt the advanced. There's a very simple solution here, though. Just fix the math. For The National, I'm Robin Erbach.